One of the things I've noticed is that um, you, you've won the respect of the players really quickly. You get interviews, you speak to them. Does it does it stand out for you? Am I exaggerating that that they're almost consistently nice, articulate, intelligent, professional, grown up, which which we both know not all footballers are. Yeah, they are, and that's amazing. I've I've spoken to well basically everybody individually except Leo Messi, who's difficult to get, and I think you can understand that. What have we learned off Barcelona under Pep? What, what's what's been the overriding sensation of what we've been experiencing as journalists here? He surprised me, given that he'd only done a season with Barca B. He's won the league every year. I think he's won ten trophies in three years, playing the type of attacking football which is demanded by Barca supporters. I remember um, interviewing Philip Cocu some years ago when Valencia were league champions, and he just shrugged and said, we could not play their type of formation. It just wouldn't be accepted here. And Pep has remained true to the philosophy that he has been part of because he's a student of Cruyff probably the most famous student of Cruyff, and he's been a huge, huge success. Seen off challengers, the biggest one's probably this season, Jose Mourinho. I did think, if I'm honest, uh, before um, the Champions League semi-final first leg, and after the Copa del Rey win for Madrid in Valencia, that Mourinho were in it. had got yeah. him. Yeah. he got under his skin, he'd taken him out of his comfort zone. Pep's also been very lucky, because... Messi has become the best player in the world, but he's also been intelligent. He's made the team evolve around Messi. He made Messi the main man. 